guys, Rob here. Um, did the American society just show the world today how crazy we are? I felt like I was watching a really horrible movie or living a nightmare the past few hours. Uh, I don't normally watch the news. I mean, I read a lot of news and I watch a lot of independent media and journalists and whatnot. But I haven't watched mainstream media in probably a few years. But when I heard what's going on in Boston with the lockdown and the you know, military uh, martial law and all that jazz, I turned on the TV. And I gotta say, there is a lot of work that needs to be done in the name of liberty. Um, I turned it on right during the end of this whole Boston uh, crusade, uh, if you will, to go after this one teenager uh, concerning they killed his brother. Now, obviously in Boston, they, they supposedly uh, this uh, Chechnyan uh, teenager uh, detonated a bomb. And I killed a couple people. Horrible, yes, if that's true. Yes, horrible. But in all honesty, in the grand scheme of things, we do drone bombings across the, the Middle East almost every other day, killing families left and right. Or hell, if you want to look at mere deaths, just look at the Chicago death rate. Uh, there's dozens that are killed in shootouts every weekend. But no, this... This kid killed, supposedly, a couple people. So, the response by the government is to roll in armored, armored vehicles and hum, you know, Humvees and armored transportation vehicles with gun turrets on top and uh, National Guard troops and whatnot patrolling the streets. Everyone's on lockdown. No one can leave their houses. SWAT teams raiding each house door by door. Um... It literally looked like that parts of Boston uh, or the suburb, uh, Watertown or whatnot, were literally invaded by an, uh, an, a military, which it really, really was. Searching for one person, a teenage boy. If that's not overkill, I don't know what is. But that's not the sickening part. Watching the news was. Li literally, watching the news they're talking about bringing up, you know, there's moments, on, I was watching ABC, there's moments where they invoked Osama Bin Laden and 30 Dark, Zero Dark Thirty, whatever the, the propaganda film they made, and uh, yeah, just thought these are, these are similar types of flashbangs, that's what they're hearing. And, uh, and then once, once the uh, citizens were allowed to, allowed to leave their own homes, once they're allowed to leave their own homes, uh, they go out into the streets and chant USA and cheer as the military vehicles and the cop cars are going by. And I'm thinking to myself, you were just imprisoned in your own home and they were stripping the rights under the Bill of Rights, the Fourth Amendment, if you will, uh, to unreasonable search and seizure without, due pro you know, without a warrant. And they were cheering that on. They were literally allowing men dressed all in black with an automatic weapons to come into their house. And they had nothing to stop them. And they were cheering that on. And they were doing all this for one person who killed a couple people. What are they going to do now? They've set the precedent that they can literally declare martial law whenever anyone gets killed. If someone dies in some horrible accident or murder, they can literally shut down an entire city and go block by block and go into every person's house, their rooms, everything, search everything for one person. I fear I'm in Chicago that at some point, you know, someone who I guess isn't black, a white person would be murdered be, uh, in some sort of attack. They're going to, to go through the entire city of Chicago. Chicago literally has... A dozen murders every weekend, just like 20 minutes north of where I am. They're going to bring in the National Guard. They're going to go door by door. If they can do it in Boston, they can do it anywhere. This is a dangerous precedent that has been set. 
Uh, the police state is here. 1984 is here. I hate to say it. Alex Jones was right. Um, it's coming. And it's coming down hard. And that's not the scary part. The scary part is that the populace is embracing this. That they're cheering this on. And literally on the news, they're talking about how they're not going to read this kid Miranda rights because they don't want him to have rights under uh, due process and he's going to be considered an enemy combatant and all that jazz. I'm like, it could have just took some police work to find him, not literally the entire military regimen in uh, the Boston area to do so. And another part that I really don't get, do people realize that this area of the world over 200 years ago literally took up arms against their own government for actions similar to what happened today. But yet it's cheered. You know, I always thought tyranny would come in uh, with people dreading it and people fighting back. No. I witnessed today on TV tyranny being implemented, 1984 style tyranny being implemented with cheers and applause and chanting USA. It's a sad day for Liberty uh, watching that. I, I'm taken aback by it and uh, I just hope that you know we can spread the message as much as we can of peace, love, and liberty to as many people as possible because it needs to be, we need to speed our own operations up. The livery movement needs to get their ass in gear. And we, I know we have, I know there's a lot of people that have, but the time is now for us to stand up and wake as many people up as possible before this gets out of hand because it's getting out of hand. When there's, when there's literally a military uh, martial law declared in a city all for one person, what are they going to do when it's like a group of people, you know? Um, this is getting out of hand, and uh, it's getting scary. This should never have happened, and I'm embarrassed for being considered part of this group of people that did this. Uh, yeah, maybe they caught this suspect, but at what cost? At what cost was this done? It's a scary, it's a scary day, and I fear the future. Uh, hopefully, we can stop this from getting out of hand. Uh, I have hope, though. Um, Please spread the message of uh, liberty to everyone you can. Get the message out. Talk to whoever you can. Don't, don't be quiet on this. Uh, we can't allow this kind of tyranny to go overtake. Don't let patriotism, don't get love of country or love of government to get in the way. Even you monarchists out there, or even you statists, you can't want the police, to, you know, hundreds of men in black uniforms and fully automatic weapons be able to raid your house whenever somebody else, a single teenage boy, does something wrong. It's outrageous. I just hope that we can stop this. I I'm just ranting right now, but anyways, spread the message of peace, love, liberty.